Welcome back Alpha Hunters. I'm sure many of you have questions on how to find trading opportunities or where can I find company information? These are great questions to ask as there are many stocks available to you to put your money to work. So in this video, we will be taking a look at some stock screeners, where to find company information, and some general resources that are reliable to refer to. See you on the green side. How in the heck do we as traders find the right stocks to trade and invest in? You don't want to just go blindly into the trading day, hoping you stumble across a stock that is moving the way you want it to move. That's like looking for a needle in a haystack at night. How would you find that needle? Let technology help you find that needle by using a magnet. The magnet will pull the needle right out of the haystack, saving you time and finding what you value most. So let me show you some resources and tools that will pull the stocks right out of the haystack. Resources. We're going to start transitioning a little bit on these educational videos to be less talking presentation-ish focused as we start to use different resources going forward. Here, I'm just going to give you a list of resources first. And then I'll transition to the web browser to show you these resources in action and kind of just what they offer. So the first one uh, is investopedia.com. Investopedia is a commonly used website to, to find definitions and explanations of wide ranging finance topics. This might become the first step for when you want to learn about something new for finance. <clears throat> Although it is lacking on how to like implementation of kind of concepts and stuff like that and kind of just more advanced topics. A lot of new investors is a great place just to learn new terminology and definitions and stuff like that. So this is great for you, for new people. Next is finviz.com. Finviz is a great website to use for stock screeners and company information. It has various things that will be beneficial to just about any market trader. So we'll take a look at that in a second as well. Barchart.com is another one. So Barchart is a useful tool, but pretty much I use it for just about one thing. Um, and that's a pre-market screener uh, for stocks that are gapping. Uh, but like Finviz, it has a lot of great company information and some screeners and stuff like that. But I'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that here in a second as well. Tradingview.com. TradingView is probably the most popular charting tool to use. Um, I would highly recommend you using it. You will see that you will see this tool a lot on my channel uh, for charting. Um, I, I would say it's probably better than most people's brokers charting. And I'll get into kind of some of the pros and cons of it later. A bonus resource is going to be what, whatever broker you use. I use Thinkorswim, which is a trading platform owned by TD Ameritrade, which has been acquired by Charles Schwab. So yeah, you know, the world of finance, you know, it's just ever evolving who's buying who. So it is what it is, but uh, not trying to advertise them at all. I'm not gonna try to advertise them, but I'm gonna show off some of their resources. I do think they have a lot of great useful tools and you can use their tools without depositing funds. You just need to open an account. Uh, other, po other popular brokers are Interactive Broker, uh, E-Trade and Robinhood. And uh, I'll cover more about brokers in another video though. Okay, let me transition to the browser. Okay, so here we go. Here's investopedia.com. I hadn't been on the website in quite a while. Uh, I usually, I'm on here maybe, maybe three times a year. It's usually not too often uh, anymore. But they have really changed around their website and, but it's okay. It's, it's still a very useful uh, tool to use and stuff like that. Uh, but they have a lot more like uh, paid services that you can buy and stuff like that. Go figure. Everybody's trying to get, make that money. But down here, this is the search bar, you know, you, or I guess there's one up here also, up, up all the way up here. But you can type in here, um, option, or let's type in stock option stock options and then you know you'll get your search results uh the benefits and value of stock options here you go so it just kind of gives you some basic 
kind of definitions and understandings of concepts. You know, we'll, we'll look at one more thing here. Uh, I'm trying not to spend too much time, as I know this video is probably going to run a little long. I just want to cover just some general stuff across each one of these different websites. Uh, that way you guys kind of get a familiarity with what they're what they're talking about. It's uh, options delta. Uh, delta definition and examples. Okay. So yeah, like this would be, yeah, this is the right thing. So delta is the ratio that compares the change of the price of an asset, usually marketable securities, to the corresponding change in the price of its derivatives. So, so like I said, it's this is a really good place to kind of come and get a basic definition and understanding. They'll have some examples and stuff like that, uh, but not going to be maybe the best source for actual implementation and uh, advanced type concepts, but you know, it's okay. It's still a fantastic resource. In this website, Investopedia covers a lot of, not just market kind of uh, terminology. So uh, this is this is a really good resource. I highly recommend using using Investopedia, especially if you're new, you need to learn about new, new uh, concepts, okay? So the next one we'll look at is Finviz. This has a lot of great features, a lot of stock screen type stuff. So obviously you got a tab here for screener so you can get in. Oh my gosh, how many ads they got on this? So you can get in here and really make a crazy stock screener. Um, obviously you can register and you can probably save stock screeners. I'm not, I don't have an account here. <clears throat> they, they, the stock screener is very detailed probably one of the better website ones uh, I've come across. They also have uh, heat maps and stuff like that. So if you want to come in and see what companies are doing really good or really, really poorly throughout the day, like you can see uh, healthcare, this area of healthcare is we're doing really bad on the day. Also this area, uh, specialty industries type area, looking like a lot of red here on this day. And then here's like a lot of green. Uh, restaurants, uh, specialty retail apparel. So it's it's really quick and easy way for you to just to use and see like where there's a lot of activity for the day. Uh, see if you know maybe there's some trading opportunities in those areas of the market. Okay. So yeah, this is a pretty good uh, website to find like a lot of stuff. The other thing though is up here in a search ticker. So if we go to maybe like Apple, it brings up some company information. Now, a lot of companies will, or a lot of websites, there's, there's a lot of places that have this kind of information, but one of the great things about this web, website is it tracks short float, this short float, shares float, short ratio, that kind of stuff. And this is a great number to kind of see um, if you're trying to find like a diamond in a rough that has a lot of uh, shares that are sold, uh, uh, shorted. I'm sorry, I'm looking for the word. Shorted interest, short interest, there it is. Usually you don't find this information too much. Uh, this is usually like more of a paid type of data point. So Finviz is like one of the few places out there that actually gives this to you for free. I don't know how often they update this, but it's maybe like once once a month, maybe I, I don't, I'm not too sure. Let's look at, uh, okay. Let's look at GameStop because obviously that had, they used to have a huge short flow. So yeah. So you got a short float on GameStop at 12.23%. Uh, back in the earlier part of the year when GameStop was doing this, uh, before, even before then, uh, it had a massive short float. So, uh, if you like doing uh, short squeeze trading, uh, this might be a good resource for you to come check this out. This is a good number to watch if you develop a plan around that. Oh my gosh. But uh, that's Finviz. Uh, so just get in here, click around, see what you can find. Even if you don't know what you're looking all at in the beginning, you know, save some of these websites, come back every now and then, check it out. Like, oh, okay, and that's what that means. Like, you'll become more familiar with things and stuff like that. Okay. Barchart.com. 
Bartcharger.com is very much like Finviz. There's a lot of similar features. You know, they both have like cryptos and forex and futures and you know that kind of stuff that you can track and follow. Uh, and I know I know cryptos very important to a lot of people nowadays. So you know, a lot of people have portfolios in crypto and the mar- and the stock market. So you know, um, these are great resources to use for those. Uh, but there's a lot of free stuff out there, but these are the, probably the two more company-based ones I use. But barchart.com, the one, probably the main thing I use for barchart.com is right here is you come up to the stocks, you come down to gaps up, gap down. Click on that, and this will tell you what stocks are gapping for the day right here. And it'll show, it'll give you the order right here, gap up percentage. And we'll go, to, we'll go take a look at Bed Bath & Beyond here in a second when I move over to TradingView. Because uh, I had heard that they killed earnings or something happened on their earnings to where it made them pop a lot. Um, i tell you what, maybe we'll go look. Uh, I'm gonna hop back over to Finviz. I'm gonna look over at Bed Bath and Beyond real quick and see if. Oh yeah, look at that short float. That's why. So when you get short float squid in there, it is. It's already. It. it this is. So this candle right here. I'm certain. I'm hovering around right there. That long red one down. So that is today's candle that is today's action and we'll look at it on uh, trading view here in a sec but they has a lot of short float so like so whatever got said last night on their earnings probably caused a lot of people to cover on short floats and after hours trading so uh, it doesn't surprise me to see bed bath beyond on here but you want to come check this list about 30 minutes before the market opens if you want to trade gapping stocks before uh, or as the market opens uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and here's the gap up and here's the gap down list. Of course, my gosh, man, like every website nowadays is just like ads galore. It didn't used to be this bad. Here's some other ones. So we got like Urban One, never heard of them, but Skywater Technology, Rocky Brands, uh, Pro Holdings, Activision, big time gaming company. Zillow Group, uh, which my understanding, if I saw the news article correctly, they are they are getting out of their home buying business, which is kind of interesting. Wingstop. So yeah, there's uh there's some movement going on out there. Uh, but <clears throat> the the hard thing though is after the market opens, and the market movement from just the stock moving during the day starts to really mess up this gap. Like the gap, the gap number doesn't just lock in anymore. The gap then starts to change with the market or as the stock moves, which is kind of a bummer. I wish it didn't do that, but it is what it is. But that is like the one, this is like the one thing I use uh, for barchart.com. Uh, mostly just, I mean, it has probably the same information as uh, Finviz. It's just, I like the layout of Finviz a little bit better. It just seems cleaner. It seems a little, like the website just seems a little bit more responsive. Okay. So let's look at trading view. So when you first come to trading view, you're going to have a front page like this, um, search the markets. But, um, what took me a while to, for when I first heard about trading view was actually finding the charts area. Uh, for whatever reason, when back in the day, they used to have this chart. It wasn't like an obvious first selection. It was, it wasn't even close to like the first selection, but the cool thing about trading view is it is like a community like um and i'll show you that here in a second how the the community uh you can follow people that you find that have great trade ideas and stuff like that so yeah it, it is really cool but anyways you come to the charting area and this is probably the first basic chart type situation you come to you know, you got volume down here. Uh, and this is your basic daily. I think we're on a daily chart. Yeah, we're on a daily chart. So this is just your basic daily chart. So up here, 
uh, here's your indicators. This is where all your indicators would be. So there is a ton of indicators in this platform. Okay. There are some built-in ones. Uh, you can actually create your own scripts, which is really cool. So if you come up with like a way, an indicator to, to do yourself and you know how to kind of build that out, then uh, you can kind of write it in here and see how it does. Then you also have in here community scripts. So this is what the community's wrote, written and you can just use these, some of these. So yeah, this is this is really great. So let's I'm gonna just gonna add a basic one. Um, expo. Okay, moving average exponential. This is one I want to add. Okay, boom. This is, and then then it pops up over here. So there's like if you want to edit that line, that line, just click on the line, and it pops up over here. So obviously that's the little settings wheel, or you can right click on it and then hit settings boom change it here's the length the moving average you can change the length to 10. Uh, i'll go more into like technical analysis and charting later but <clears throat> i just wanted you to know that here's a great charting tool that is um great to use like you can throw down some horizontal lines boom and uh boom okay so you can uh, show off some different price levels. Now, one of the cool things that TradingView has over uh, using like maybe a broker or something like that is that this is a website, okay? And you can do homework, you can do your annotations, you can find pricing levels, like you go to a coffee shop. You know, with everybody worried about um, like getting hacked, you know, off of public networks or whatever, if you go to a coffee shop, you just pop open TradingView and you're just doing some, you know, checking out some charts and stuff like that. You don't have to open your broker. You don't have to log into your your financial brokerage account and expose that kind of financial uh, security, you know, over a public uh, network. You can just do it here on TradingView. Um, it's also, to me, a lot more responsive uh, than most than some, I would, I would say most, but uh, some brokerage platforms. Um, the other thing is they hardly ever take this down for maintenance, which is kind of nice. They just do maintenance in the back end. So, but you'll you'll notice like if you use a trading platform, like when they take it offline for maintenance, there's no downloads or anything like that. It's 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 on the website. So tradingview.com is great. Uh, there's a lot of tools on here. It is it is fantastic. All right, so I said let's look at best uh, Bed, Bed, Bed Bath and Beyond. So let's look at Bed Bath and Beyond. So here you go. So so this is like Bed Bath and Beyond. This is today's candle. So if we, and then we're looking at a daily card. So if we go into a five minute, let's go look at a one minute since we are still kind of early in the day and look at that. Like you you when you get such a high. Uh, here's the ruler. So you can quickly see how far something went over a period of time. So it went up 53%. If you see that, it's the, in that box there, you see it went up 8.8, .8, and which was 52.97%. That is from yesterday's close to today's open. That's what it did. And that is just too far of a gap. Uh, if you understand gap psychology, that's just way too far. Like anybody that had bought before, they were just going to close out positions. So, but anyways, that's what uh, Best Bed Bath Beyond has done today. So, yeah, it opened, I mean, it's only up 26% now. You know, you can see that over here. Um, here's the order box. But I'll show off one other thing real quick on TradingView. Uh, you got over here public chats. So, like I said, it's, it's kind of got like its own community. Um, on a little chat pane. So right now it's in Forex, the Forex chat. Uh, you got cryptocurrencies, you got stock and indexes. Uh, if I hardly ever go to chat, any kind of chat or socials type spaces when I trade or 
Uh, I just don't want to get other people's ideas into my head. I have my idea of what I expect out of the market, and I don't want them corrupting that. But if I do come here, it's usually the stock and indexes, just mostly because like the st if the market starts making a move that I didn't know about, or I didn't know that some event was happening, I'll come over here to see, see if these guys are talking about it and s see if someone knows something that's up. That's about it. But yeah, that's TradingView. It's a great resource. It's just, you will see this one a lot uh, on my channel because uh, this is pretty much all I use for charting. And I highly recommend using something like this. But if you have a broker and you, or you have a, another source, power to you, man. Use what works for you. I'm now over on the broker. I'm just doing a simulated trading um, uh, session right here. You see my simulated trading. So the cool thing about this, uh, but this is Thinkorswim. This is their trading platform. It's pretty much all the same. You know, there's nothing different. I don't remember delay data. What? Okay, so everything is delayed by 20 minutes. Um, okay, so if you are in a lot, uh, like actually in your broker account and not in a simulated trading session, you would have live data, which is not a problem. But so some of the cool things that they have here on this broker is like risk profile for trades. Um, Probability analysis, if you need to look at probability analysis, um, like most probability analysis are gonna look like that. But uh, this risk profile, I know it's a flat line now and I'll put, it, I'll put some in here real quick. So if we come in there, I'm gonna look at the SPY. Um, just look at by a vertical. And then I'm gonna come down here, right click and analyze trades and came over here to the risk profile and then it just throws in a risk profile. So this just allows you to just see what the trade would do between uh, your entry to the end uh, for an options trade. So this is actually kind of crucial if you're not, if you don't know how it would look, uh, this is a great way to analyze stuff. Uh, or if you're looking for new strategies, yeah, this is a great way to kind of look and see how things uh, would move over time. Um, another cool thing, and I'm going to go into a lot more detail and you're going to see a lot more of, of, uh, think or swim as I go into, um, putting on trades, um, stock trades or, or doing option stuff. You're going to see a lot more of this. And one of the cool things actually is over here on charts, product depth. So you got charts here, you got flexible grid and you got product depth. So here. I'm going to turn that to nothing, open interest, and I'm gonna just going to put on extrinsic value. And I'm going to change that to spy. I have no idea why it's super whacked out like that. <laughs> so this is, uh, I don't know why it's providing all this extra information over here. It usually doesn't, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and do this and there you go. So we can see that a little bit better, <laughs> a little bit better. Um, so this is like out of the money extrinsic value. So this is like typical of what you'll see for time value in options. What I'm going to do is show theta real quick. So I'm going to show theta. So this is theta for out of the money or really all options. And as you can see, there's um, just a lot, there's like this big spike down. So I'm gonna get into this when we cover options and option pricing and option, like really how to get into option value, uh, extracting as much value out of options as possible. Um, and we'll, we, so we will come back to this, but um, these are some great uh, charts and really kind of under how to understand really don't know why it's doing that. It's really kind of annoying, but this will help us understand what we're trying to get out of the market, uh, out of doing option strategies and stuff like that. So, uh, when we get there, uh, we'll be coming back here a lot just for examples and perp and, uh, looking at things like that. Okay. Um, so I think that'll be all for me for now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you 
enjoyed some of the resources. Those are probably some of the main resources I, I some of the main resources I use all the time. Uh, especially TradingView and just my broker, uh, barchart.com, yeah. Finviz and Investopedia. Uh, they have their they have their places too. But uh, yeah, you know, that was fun. You know, we're gonna be spending a lot more time uh, in chart charting screens and risk profile screens. So hope you're able to follow along with this. Uh, I'll be using these resources and showing how they, they work together in the future. All right, take care, Alpha Hunters.